In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to extract access services data and incorporate it into a SharePoint web part and then put it back into an access form. Here we have a small table, simply two columns, an artist, and the number of units sold. We're going to create a web-based form with those two fields from the table. And from here, we're going to jump over to SharePoint 2010, the same site collection that's hosting that access database with the album sale information and we're going to create a new page called chart web part which is just a simple blank page if we go up to the page menu click on edit we can then insert a web part onto this page and we're going to insert the chart web part which can be found under business data the category business data and it's the seventh one down on the web part screen now by inserting this chart web part we're going to be able to point back into the access services table that holds the album sale information and display the information visually. So we go ahead and load up that web part and if we click on data and appearance after first saving a copy of the page we're going to have an opportunity to connect that chart to data that lives inside of an access table. So we click connect chart to data and on the next screen there's four options. The ones that or the only one that we're interested in is the second one down which is connect to a list which is really asking SharePoint to go ahead and enumerate all of the lists that are part of this site collection of course that includes regular SharePoint lists as well as access web databases so if we go ahead and pull down from the site we see all of the subsites some of these are regular SharePoint sites others like record sales are access web databases from there we'll get a list of all the lists but really these are access tables and there we see the record sale table that we incorporated into our web database from there we can click on next verify that inside that table we have a field for the artist name and a field for units sold and from there we can determine what the X and Y axis is going to look like there's really quite a bit of flexibility inside the charting web part that goes outside the scope of this particular tutorial we're just going to create a simple bar chart using artists as the x-axis and units sold as the y. And from there we go ahead and incorporate the access data into a nice looking chart. Now the final piece of this is go, to go back into access itself, make sure that the form we created is in layout view, and we're going to create an extension of that form that includes the web browser control. Now when you put the web browser control onto an access form, you can point back to any of the pages that are in the SharePoint site collection. So in this case, we're going to point back to that page that has the chart web part. And what we'll see inside the access web form at this point is the information that's included in the table visually displayed. So we've got the artist, we've got the units sold, and we've got a nice chart that helps us visualize that information. Of course, the final piece of this is to be able to update that chart based on changes to the access database. So if we go from layout into form view and go ahead and update the units sold, and we commit that record back to the server, it's really just a matter of going into the web control, which is really a fully functional representation of a browser, right-clicking and refreshing, and you can see we've got the updated in record sales for that particular artist already incorporated in the page. So this is a technique for going ahead and taking your access data and incorporating it directly into a SharePoint web part and then pointing it back again into your access form.